Oh man, I'm so thirsty. Better pour this water all over my face. So all the time in movies and TV shows, they cut from a conversation once you've heard as much as you need to hear to the next scene. I often find myself imagining that not happening, like a natural conversation, like what's going on in the room. So in this case, we have him riding, you know, he meets some nice people, he rides away in his donkey, interlude travel, da 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 then all of a sudden he's on top of a mountain. That's fine, that's just a quick cut by a single person. But then, boom, turns around, one of the people he was talking to is there. So, like, how long was that donkey interlude? How long were these people just running after him as he rode away on his donkey without him noticing? And then, you yeah, have a little bit of a talk on top of the mountain, he hears someone yell, and then, boom, he's on his donkey again, and he's down flat land. It's like, so, did he just sprint away from them without saying anything? What was the awkward disengagement from that conversation on a mountaintop where nobody expected them to be? The rules of hiding in this show are like video game rules. If you ever play like uh, Assassin's Creed or Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever, and there's like designated safe zones where none of the guys can see you as long as you get into one, <laughs> like jumping into a bale of hay or crouching down in some bushes. Yeah, you know, here's a whole pack of people. It's like eight guys that want to kill this dude. And he's like, oh, I'll just go behind the street. I'm like, oh, he's gone. <laughs> they, they watch him run over. He's gone. A new group shows up and they can't see him. And, what, you know, just now... When he looked around the tree and the guy looked behind him, he went, oh, and he ducked back behind the tree again. He's still within line of sight of that guy. He's not even on the other side of the tree. He can see him. We can see him right now. We're at the same. He's, you can, he looked at him. That's another super weird thing that happens a lot in the show. Kind of like the ghost girl from the first episode. The stone moves and breaks everything. And then they look and they see the guy. And they look and they talk to the guy. He's like, it's a stone statue. The statue is a monster. And they look back and the stone statue is still wiggling. And some guy says, the stone, it's moving. It's like, yeah, you've been watching it move for 45 seconds, nonstop. All of it's like, it, it was not subtle. It was not sneaky. Like all the stuff crumbled off of it. Uh, kind of like earlier, he's at the grave and, he, and, uh, and he's talking to this old guy. And then he starts thinking about something and he looks and the old guy's gone now. And so he's sinking, he's sinking, he looks behind him, he has another flashback, and he looks, the old guy's still gone. He says, where's the old man? It's like, he disappeared a long time ago, and you were looking directly at that. The same guy who's like, oh my god, the stone moved. When he saw the stone move the first time, he drew his sword, and he went, ugh. So, like, he saw the stone move, he reacted to it with his physical actions, and then 30 seconds later, verbally, it's like people's dialogue is on a 30 second delay. Superfluous spinny move that achieves nothing but looks awesome. I mean, if anything, it's gonna make them dizzy, right? Even if they don't get dizzy from one spin, they're taking their eye off the target, so it lends nothing. Unless it's like, oh, I'm gonna spin so fast, this arrow's gonna be moving even before I let it get. No, it's all dumb. It's so dumb. I also love the way every single character's hair is always gently blowing around their face. I just imagine that in filming these episodes. They've got to have a team of like 40 dudes who just have like little hand fans and stand right outside of the frame and are just like just blowing air at everyone's faces so that their hair is always going just a bunch of little guys running around. <laughs>